Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be giving you my two cents on the Slammer 3 by Penn Fishing. It's the largest model in this particular series, the 10,500. In fact, it's the largest spinning reel that their company makes to date. I've owned it since the day it was released in 2016. It's been with me through Florida, North Carolina, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, and I put some impressive catches on the sand using this particular reel. This particular model retails for $360. Let's talk specs on the reel. It puts out 60 pounds of drag pressure and weighs in at 43.1 ounces. It's a heavy reel, but it was designed to pull in heavy fish. The body, the side plate, and the rotor are constructed of high grade aluminum and the drivetrain is full CNC machine cut brass for cranking power and smoothness. It has an IPX6 seal rating, which means it can take on splashes of water from any direction and keep on ticking without letting any of that water get inside of it. It has seven sealed stainless steel ball bearings for uh, smoothness, it's super smooth reel. It uh, has a manual bail trip, so when you're casting those giant plugs for them tuna and them pelagics, the bail won't close on you and break off and your lure goes flying. Let's talk drag washers. They're made out of carbon fiber with a special coating. It's called their Duradrag. Uh, they used to have the HT100, now they have the Duradrag, which is better, smoother, stronger. I believe they have two drag washers underneath of the spool. It's just an all-around beast. It holds 780 yards of 65 pound braid and 540 of 80, which is what I run it with. I like to put on 500 yards of 80 pound braid and then put about an 80 to 100 yard top shot of 80 pound mono for the applications I personally use it for, which is mainly shark fishing from the beach. I'm gonna be honest, it's a quality product, but I don't like that it's made in China. My experience with Chinese reels are that they only last about two seasons. This one has uh, proven that wrong though. Talk about warranties, they got a five year warranty. They have a outstanding customer service. They'll actually extend that warranty as long as you have the receipt, have your product registered, getting it serviced for $10 They'll diagnose a problem, then whatever the problem may be, it'll be extra money for parts and labor for that, but it's not usually too much. For $27, you can send this in and have them clean, oil, and grease it. You'll pay shipping both ways and the $27 cleaning fee. Like I said, I've had it since the day it came out in 2016 and I fish it hard. The application that I use it for is land-based shark fishing. I like using it to kayak baits out with or drift baits out at Sebastian Inlet. I personally pair it with a seven foot Shimano Therese wax wing, extra heavy rating. Because sometimes I don't like to use, you know, I got 80 wides, 50 wides, 30 wides. But I love catching sharks on a big spinning reel because you really get to feel the fight. That thing's pulling the drag. It's a whole nother animal. So I have a passion for that. So I'd much rather use a beast spinning reel. And uh, this one has been awesome. I've caught a lot of great sharks on this. I caught an eight foot tiger shark down in North Carolina on it. It's very low maintenance from the ceilings. I just bring it home and I spray it off with the hose. If it's got sand on it, um, you might not want to spray it too hard because the water won't get inside, but the sand will get down in the crevices. So kind of, uh, you know, drip the water on it instead of spraying it. Another cool thing is it comes with an extra reel handle. So sometimes late in the season, in the colder months, we're out there fishing and this aluminum um, reel handle gets pretty cold. So it's nice to have an option to give a, uh, a different uh, EVA foam knob so it's non-slip and it doesn't get cold that's always a good thing all right under a load it performs well it has great torquing power uh, smooth drag the drag clicker sounds great I fished it hard with minimal maintenance I've never personally sent this one in I have uh, just oiled the roller bearing and the main shaft and it's still super smooth after what four seasons something like that some of the downsides of the reel is 
the lightest drag setting basically when it's in free spool it still feels like it's two pounds of pressure so you really got to keep an eye on it you don't want to go leaving a bait sitting out there and leave it sitting in your sand spike without watching it because you run the risk of a big fish picking it up and pulling it right out of your spike or it feeling the weight of the drag still on there and dropping the bait prematurely and not getting that hook it's a super heavy reel so that's one of the downsides but uh other than that i have no complaints i really love it i think it's very gorgeous looking reel aesthetically pleasing it's super smooth it's just a, a well-made reel it's uh right underneath of the pen torque which is their top of the line $800 reel this is second in line and my experience with it has been great on a scale from 1 to 10 for the seasons that I fish it I would give it an 8 easily I hope this video was able to help you and give you some insight in case you're in the market for or considering purchasing a larger spinning reel for those offshore pelagics or land-based shark fishing. Like I said, this is a reel I would highly recommend. I put it through the test and it has proven itself. At $360, it's not by any means a cheap reel, but it will hold its ground against those higher end reels. I've seen it. If you were able to draw any knowledge from this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment if you have any questions. All the info on the reel will be linked below. So get out there, share the fishing stove, and fish until it hurts.